Hey guys, welcome to our review of Mushroom Sentai Care Major, episode 15. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me to. Yeah, you're right. We have this in your place. <laughs> in the correct background. Hold on. Dude, welcome back. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that there are still links in the description down below to, ha to where you can go help support the Black Lives Matter movement. So go on in there, sign petitions. Donate money, whatever you do, as long as you do it, it absolutely helps. Uh, but with that said, let's dive into our review, and I thought, once again, what a wonderful episode. It wasn't too heavy on plot, but we are steadily repairing the relationship with um, uh, between Silver and Mabushina. And then also having some blue episode fun. And that's always a good time. Um, yeah. We get good faces like this. Look at all this lip balm. Yeah, it was a little... It's weird, because like, I don't think it was like a blue episode, per se. He just happened to like kind of like be there, and they just got rid of everyone else. Because <laughs> like, they didn't really focus on anything that was going on in his subplot. Right. It just like, occasion like at the very end, he mentioned the lip balm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but I I feel like you know him encouraging Silver to reach out to Mabushina was really the the sort of backbone of this episode because it did matter and and picking up on oh well, hey she braided her hair uh maybe she is communicating with you or at least she can hear you she just didn't want to respond and and being able to rely on that uh was really important um. Yeah, but didn't the cure majors put that doubt in him in the first place? Like, hey, maybe your telepathy isn't working. And he's like, uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, remember that. I, I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. I, I just thought, like, Blue's encouragement was, you know, what got us through uh, the episode. Um, yeah. Like, personally, for me, I felt like uh, the beef that Mabushina had with silver just didn't feel too strong like it was very wishy-washy just like i thought you guys were fighting but i guess it's all okay now <laughs> well like okay so i recognize that you know there's probably a little bit of turmoil with her but if you're reconnecting with someone from so long ago and your beef is so far back even you know however strong it is nice to have a familiar face again, especially when her entire planet's gone, and to have basically family, her brother, come back. You know, I'm sure on some level it's comforting. And I mean, I've definitely had situations where I, I got into a spat with a friend, and then just after after a little while of not talking to them, I just sort of didn't deal with me disliking them we just sort of fell back into place you know um and i feel like that there's a slow version of that happening yeah what you uh, think that like him abandoning the planet in its time of need especially so recently <laughs> would be a much harder like scar to like mend uh That's, like they're not giving us enough information yet so I don't know what sort of what like truly what baggage that is and what that causes. I feel like once Silver finds whatever it is he's looking for, we'll finally get the full story. But for now, it's like eh, just waiting and trying to repair. Yeah. Um. Like, I'm just taking like the worst case scenario for this but as long as like they have fun with other aspects of the episode I'm perfectly fine I feel like I'm liking Silver a lot more his chemistry with like basically most of the characters is pretty good um, Yeah, especially with like Blue because I feel like he's he's like one of the, like, the older people in the group I would assume um and they kind of like played off each other pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Came to like, you know, Boo's all like, you know, I I understand women and all that other stuff. <laughs> so I'm like, D do you? But like, does Silver? 
<laughs> so like they're kind of like bumbling together just kind of like work for me <laughs> right yeah yeah because like silver's doing a bunch of stupid ass stuff and blue overreacts to everything <laughs> <laughs> so, it just like it was so fun seeing those two together yeah 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 um also we got uh the person walking out of the wet place for once so that was neat like crunchula 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 oh yes count crunchula your favorite cereal (laughs) that is a cereal isn't it i thought it was count chocula oh Okay, that okay, maybe no, that that's what happens when you mix Captain Crunch and Count Chocula. It's Count Crunchula. Can someone make that? Can someone make that and uh, at me on Twitter with <laughs> um? But yeah, I like their fight was fun. The power is fun. Like it's not once again with with Cure Major. It's not about having a serious plot or a serious plan. It's just having fun, and it was great. The, the, uh, the, uh, I forgot what they were called, but like the minion dude with the stick, just like poking at red to tickle him. This is a good time. Uh- <laughs> yeah, um, I think like Crunchula also mentioned like his orders for even being on Earth in the first place. Yeah, like, like I'm here to take it over by using like you know, your culture yeah, <laughs> against yeah. you. I was like, yeah, I guess that would be a very, like, ugly and brutal way of taking over a planet, which <laughs> kind of makes sense for their entire, you know, right, yeah, regime and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But then I'm kind of, like, thinking, like, did they did they use that against Crystallia and stuff? Like, Of course! Of course he did! Did they just, like, bombard them with the box? <laughs> <laughs> Which is surprisingly effective, not gonna lie. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's, it's, I guess we'll see uh, more into that a little bit later, but I'm glad right. they kind of like dropped the nugget now. <laughs> <laughs> All about dropping those nuggets. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, also, we got marshmallows for the next episode. It's neat that they're at least leading into like the villain of the week for the next episode. Like, we don't typically get that for like incidental little um just hey the next villain is marshmallow themed cool um well like usually people don't have ptsd from marshmallows so yeah well i guess we're about to unpack that unpack the marshmallows uh next episode um outside of that though i mean just a good time did you have anything else before we jumped into the comments no not at all (laughs) Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so first comment from Double the Unknown, who says, That girl definitely looked Russian when she took off her mask and closed her eyes. Uh, so I looked her up, and she is in fact half Japanese and half Russian. Thank wow, you for great flex, man. Can't believe you caught that. <laughs> well, I did kind of like <laughs> want that answer, so that's I'm glad fair. that you. That's fair. <laughs> Man, weird play. Oh man, I could accurately guess your nationality. <laughs> um, let's see. Shigeru is definitely the most entertaining character of the group, so they should give him more of a spotlight. I agree. Also, Crunchula is getting more involved in the weekly episode, so hopefully, this means they're preparing to kill him off because I cannot stand that dude. You know what? This episode actually turned me around because I am. You know, take out the wet aspect of Crunchula, and I'm oddly okay with him. Yeah, he fits the series so well. Yeah, like, I've gotten used to the whole... This? So, I don't know. Like, everyone's just sort of bubbling around and having fun. I I really like his brand of fun, of just playing a game that's slightly deadly. So I've turned around. Uh, I love Crunchula. Check out this. Check out this bowl of Crunchula that I got. Um, but yeah, that is double the unknowns comment. We have one more from Dustin Smith, 
who says, wow, another decent episode. I'm surprised how well Takamichi and Shigeru characters uh, play off of each other. I found the scene where they're shooting the next episode of the drama Shigeru stars in, and Takamichi just barges straight in doing his treasure hunting. I'm quite curious about what Takamichi is hoping to find with this treasure hunt, because right now it seems like he's just collecting monstones. Um, to what you're saying there, he's not necessarily like collecting them. He's like, oh, shoot. Well, I found this thing. I guess I better, like, you know, quarantine it a little bit. So he puts it in, like, I, I guess a craft container, and you're good to go. A like, thermos. A thermos, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Because right now, yeah, Car- uh, Carantula's first fight in the series was handled pretty well. Sure, you could could argue the red light green light game part was pretty silly but ultimately it did show a decent amount of tension with the people including cure majors having to hold as still as statue when he turned around to avoid him turning them into daruma dolls also the marsk beast was quite innovative also next week looks pretty goofy but this series has earned my trust so i'm willing to give it the chance to wow me yeah i mean so, what you're saying with the red light, green light stuff, it's definitely, like, a really quick and dirty way to, um, I guess, show the stakes. Like, you understand how the game works. I have a feeling, you know, the, the card game they were playing earlier, they're trying to play off of people knowing that, that card game, and building that tension through that. And we finally get to see this here with something we actually understand. Um, so I was really happy to, to sort of watch that all unfold. Um, and then the part where you were saying that it uh, earned your trust, that's absolutely where I'm at with this. Like, that's why I'm fine with stuff like this. It's fun, and they have such a good time. Um, so, yeah, I loved it. It's good. It's good. Yeah. yeah I... And the way he styled on Senna was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I think that did, like, wonders for this character for me. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a good time. But yeah, Alex, are we good? Yeah. All right, cool. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. And, hey, if you want your comments read... On the next episode, on the next review, make sure to leave them in the comments of the watch-alongs that come out at the beginning of each week uh, by 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Don't do it on this one, because we don't read them aloud anywhere. We just read them in our heads and be like, huh, neat, a comment. Uh, but we don't actually <laughs> read them aloud. So put them on the watch-alongs if you want your stuff to, if you if you have thoughts and you want to share them with people, put them there. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, and also, there are still links in the description down below where you can help support the Black Lives Matter movement. So absolutely, absolutely go do that. Keep the kids. Yeah, see ya. Cut you off guard there. I didn't even lean into, or lead into that one. No, I was totally on guard. I just had to wait for my cue. That's fair. <laughs> oh, we have we have zero one to watch. I do it tomorrow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch him.